Hi, it's Snuggle. Welcome back to Oxenfree. A group of bored and restless teenagers accidentally open a door to a dimension filled with malicious ghosts. How do they survive the night? Puzzle solving little thinking. Of course! Let's get going. So, last time we ran into Nona. Uh, also, we had this weird time repeating thing, which was creepy, and some ghosts wanted to play fetch with us. Why don't you flip the switch yourself? You could have let me do it. I'm just curious. Oh, to impress you, of course. Why would I do anything except to delicately enhance your opinion of me? <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Okay, that must be the way station. And I can't okay. understand why would an island need anything like that anyway? Like nobody's going anywhere. Doesn't Um, this was a, a mining island before the war. Hey look. And the land, you know, as you can tell, oh, well. it wasn't really conducive to most different ways of transport, so they dug into the hills and laid down tracks and carted the coal by freight to the um the pier for the boats. Huh. I think I remember reading that this well is supposed to be the first thing ever, um, built, or whatever, on the island. Huh. Back in the 1600s. It doesn't have a sign or anything. It... used to, I think. You'd think I'm kind of a slacker idiot, right? No. Like, I wouldn't find any of this stuff interesting? <laughs> Jonas, I think you're smart. Come on, what are you talking about? Hmm, I don't know. I just sometimes get these, like, whiffs of... I don't know. I can't think of the word for it. Maybe it's stress? Like, from what's going on? Yeah. Right now? You think I don't know stress? I know stress. <laughs> okay. It's like... It's like, I don't know. Nah, it'll come to me. Hmm. All right. Head up here. There's another radio thing we listen to, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what we can do here. Let's, uh, bring up the radio. Yeah. Nope. A day long, there we go. preferring the ranch work offered by the mainland. After 1890, the island was gifted to Colonel Caleb Edwards for his part in the American Indian Wars, huh. and he would lease it to several mining companies throughout the early 1900s. This relay station served as the center of a makeshift railroad that carted coal to northern and southern piers. I'll be darned. When Edwards died, the government saw a hole in national security at the outset of World War II. Well, okay, that's, decided you know, to fair take enough. control of the island once again, founding Fort Milner in 1941. All right, fine. All right, let's see if we can maybe, uh... Oh, man. Oh, man. I thought you were a werewolf. Why would we be a werewolf? I can... ah, good to see you're okay. It's bad out there. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm just glad you're here. Do you have, like, any idea what's going on? Oh. That must be the way station. What? And actually, help me understand why... Oh, we look over here. ...need anything like that anyway? Oh, no. Ugh, Jonas, we're repeating the same stuff again. We are? Oh, it's kind of weird that you can tell when it's happening and I can't. Yeah, it's really weird. Boy, Hey, Ren! We made it, finally! Ren? Um... Ren? Ren! Ren, come on. What's the matter? Come on, Ren. What's... what's... uh... What's he doing? Ren? Is he, like, sleepwalking? I don't know how he, like, fell asleep during all this, but... He's, like... it's like he has a fever or something. Well, okay, last time we fixed it by blurping around with these things, so let's I go ahead and do it. Remember, but the last time we got stuck, we used one of these things to get out of it, so I'm not just messing around right now. Yeah, I remember, I remember. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. So let's see if we can fix this. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, let's see. There we go. Great. Hey, where'd Ren go? He was standing right there. I thought, I thought this would have fixed it. Yeah. Last time, didn't it? Me too. Time stuff? Yeah, I mean, I think, I, I think it did. I don't feel as. He, okay, so he's not in here. Ren must have 
use this to call us. Oh, it looks smashed. Huh. That's strange. Well, we'll just keep going. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, this is not... Um... He shouldn't, um, go near him? What's... What's happening to him? Okay, maybe... I have no idea. Radio? I know they say don't move somebody with a spine injury, but it's like... We gotta do something, right? But what was our job going to be, exactly? Yeah, um... Any thoughts on what we could do? If I did have any thoughts on what would solve this, wouldn't that be a little weird? Well, a little bit. Okay, let's get near him and try it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Just have to find the right frequency. Gets super glowy red and everything gets all squirrely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that. It's doing something, but helping him, hopefully. I don't know. Uh, let's see if we can. Oh, there we go. Okay. I don't know what's going on here, but. Oh, gosh. Alright. Uh. Oh, no. There we go. I hope I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> Maybe. What? Jesus, Ren, are are you? Oh God! Oh, wait. Child. What? Wait, where did Jonas go? Feels stretched. Better. No. What are you? Yeah. Oh, there's Jonas. But do not be scared. You are dolls. Would never plot. Hurt you. Uh, this is not good. Hurt you. To be sure. Can you help us? We're we're stuck here, and we just want to go home. Yeah. Home. Kamina. We will go home, all of us. Okay. Uh oh. I don't. Uh, maybe, but I, I don't really. Grounded. Bye. Adler. The, the oh, the old lady has something to do with this. Little puppy. Maggie Adler. That old woman. What does she have to do with it? Uh oh. Was young once. Sure. <laughs> I mean, young once. Um, Still. Freak. You're really freaking me out. <laughs> Tag. What? Yeah. Uh, Jonas? Jonas? Ah! ah! Holy mother of God. You guys. God, Ren. Man. You're alive. I am. I am. Why was that a question at first? Why? Why is this... Why? Actually, thanks for coming, by the way. Sure. Why is this happening? I mean, I've been here. I visited this place like 15 times. The island's haunted, Ren. Like haunted with memories or elevators on their period haunted? The second one. Uh... Anyone? Is this thing working? Wait, is that Nona? If Nona? anyone can hear this, out there, in a... Whatever. I, I'm at the con tower on Edwards Island. Hey, she listened to us. Great. Yeah, that's so, good. If anyone can... What is this? I, I'm trying to communicate with the... Does she know how to even work that stuff? Doesn't sound like it. <sighs> we should get back there before she freaks out and runs away again. So... Are we going back to the comm tower for Nona, or... Uh, we should round up Clarissa at Fort Milner first. Yeah. We'll split up. You guys do that, and I can go tend to the lovely damsel... <laughs> I wish Maybe this is that way, but just keep it in your pants, okay? No promises. Actually, wait. That kind of sounds like I'm gonna force myself on her. You think? Yeah, I was just gonna say. All right. Well, guess we're going that way. So we'll see you at the comm tower. Hopefully with Clarissa. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> right back at you. Okay. Milner Ho. Hey. <laughs> oh. What did you call me? <laughs> oh, okay. Help Clarissa. So here we're here. We need to go across this bridge and head over to Clarissa. All right. Oh, we found one anomaly. Okay.
So he's going to go down here. Well, I guess we are too. Oh, but then we're going to go up and over. And he's going to... Well, he's going up and over too. All right, well, <laughs> I guess we're all heading the same way. <laughs> Wait, am I going the right way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Just checking. Outpost, relay point. Go to the outpost. Sure. Go to the outpost. Not sure what's in the outpost, but it's something horrible and creepy, I'm sure. Yeah, see that? You can kind of see some demonic eyes back there with the ball. Oh, this is not good. It's not good at all. Demon soccer players. It's the worst. Okay, maybe uh, 1 a.m. What is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Hey. Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something. Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded sort of scared. She did. I... Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared. Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is. Yeah, fair so... enough. No. Oh. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. I thought that rock maybe Red had something, something about... about... Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What do you mean? What if they just said it was decommissioned? I think if they had alien autopsies or whatever you're suggesting is happening in there, we'd have been taken out by snipers about 50 paces back. Maybe. Yeah. But listen, like, what if, just, what if all the stuff that's like happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing is like the direct result of some government secret project? I mean, okay, that's possible. Like, what if there's some, um, experimental, uh... Sure. I mean, I'm kind of in no place to toss aside any reason for what's been going yeah, on. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah, it's the government. Let's go with that. Okay. It's just my going premise right now, so... I don't know. Keep a tally. <laughs> no promises. But can I... How do I get into the... Okay, I guess I can't go that way, so we have to go down here, maybe? Okay. I mean, it said door, and I went to the door, and then it just kind of disappeared, so I guess we just have to go down here. Oh, yeah, well, half the building's gone, too, so I guess that makes sense. Uh oh look, look, Scorpion Light there. Scorpion Light. Uh, sure. Head down here. Oops, come on now, keep going. Let's go check this out first. Maybe. Can we go check that out? I don't know. You okay there, Jonas? <laughs> Alright, let's see what's down here. I was gonna explore. I think we're supposed to go Marissa! to the right, yes. But Where are you? Oh, aren't you scared about the Illuminati or whatever having their secret government meeting about their secret army of Frankensteins? Yes, a little, but the faster we find her, the faster we can leave. That's fair. Okay, let's go up here and see what this says. This is more squirrely stuff. Nope, radio. I wonder, could this be... Oh. Oh, there we go. Is that it? Seems like it. Dinner time. Oh gosh. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. What? What the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? No. <laughs> oh, wait, what? That door just opened. Um I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so yeah. let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. Sure. Let's check out over here first. Photography prohibited. That hmm. is a very serious sign. Restricted. Keep out. Now well, they're not messing around. Yeah, that sign's old. Like, back when we were fighting Nazis old. Still, it's a little disconcerting. Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communication School. Hey. We saw more than 100,000 students take its curriculum. During the years it was open, the school trained troops from the various armed services in applied oral communication, radio and TV broadcasting, telecommunications, and what was then state-of-the-art techniques in code-breaking using an early form of computer technology. Okay. 
The school was moved to Fort Baxter in Southern California when the post closed in 1974, uh -huh. and it still resides there to this day. Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Army. Okay, that's weird. Let's go in here. Locked? Locked. Okay. Let's we'll head back to the... Let's head back to the game door. The ghost game door. <laughs> See what he wants, what kind of game he wants to play. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I, it seems like a bad idea playing a game with some malicious demonic ghost. <laughs> we don't even know if they're ghosts, though. I mean, maybe they're not. Yeah, maybe Jonah's right. Maybe it's like some alien thing or something. I don't know. They don't sound like aliens, though. I mean, they're not all beepy and boopy. They seem to be like weird humans. <laughs> Let's go. Sure. So, yeah, I still don't know what this blurb is going on with this. Okay, so here we are in the facilities. Uh oh, what's that? No. No, no. What? Don't be locked. Come on. Well, we didn't really need to go back anyway, right? Yeah. Unless there's no way out, then yes, we might have. Fair enough. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes. Quite annoyingly. <laughs> I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... Try no, not at all. I mean, he he was always so busy with school. That's very strange. He was, like, always dating somebody, but it, it would never last long. Okay. Interesting. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just what would a guy like that see in her? Yeah. Like, at least at the start... There must have been something, right? It's not a trick question, Jonas. She's been the homecoming queen every year since she grew boobs. Huh. And he'd been the captain of every sports team he'd ever played on. Uh. It was practically an arranged marriage. Yeah. Huh. Okay. It's just uh, interesting, I guess, to me. <laughs> What's your type? Blonde, right? Nose ring? No, no. <laughs> Tall, brunette. Maybe a big hat, red raincoat, lots of mystique, been around the world, somebody like that. You're describing Carmen's <laughs> <laughs> He actually is. <laughs> yeah. You know, that kind of explains a lot. <laughs> well, we need to explore the facilities, but that will have to wait for next time. Thanks for watching this playthrough of Oxenfree. So it looks like a ghost wants to play a game with us, and we have to find Clarissa. And then the ghost also blocked us in this facility. So, the fun all the way around. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more Oxen Free. See you then.